we call it the St. Teresa because right. the man that donated the original land yeah. uh, wanted it dedicated to St. Teresa of uh, Lisieux. That's right. And, uh, you know, we, we, we bought a section and every time say new Catholic parish being formed in Northwest Austin. If you live within these parameters, you are now a member of the new parish. That's how uh, we got people to begin coming. Well, one of the things that the people wanted, and uh, this came out from the people themselves, is they wanted this parish uh, to be First of all, a parish that would influence all of Austin. Uh, that was the, one of the first things. Uh, that would play an important part in cultural and in uh, uh, all different types of activities. We uh, had daily mass in a barber shop over in Highland Park Shopping Center. <laughs> that was fun. Um, St. Matthew's was up on Crestway. That was 1968 when it first started. Uh, before we had a church up here, they offered a space for our religious ed program. We had midnight mass twice at Covenant Presbyterian. <laughs> and the first, the first confessional when we were down on the uh, Hancock Drive where we had the church in the little loft, yeah, it was an old barber shop where the confessional was pretty much the broom closet, yeah. the janitorial, <laughs> janitorial closet. <laughs> often here, uh, why did you build as you built here? There's uh, one thing he told us that we could not build over 500 uh, church that would seat over 500. And the second thing was that the pastor had to live on the ground. And the third thing was that, that we needed a family center. Uh, we got, we were nearly through, and we got the bishop out here, Monsignor Elmer was out of town. And she wanted to, this decorator wanted to paint the doors in the front of the church orange. Well, of course, Father Elmer was for 10 years the chaplain at A&M. So uh, we knew that, uh, so we asked the bishop, and the bishop said, paint him. So we painted his doors orange. When he came back, when he came back. <laughs> <laughs> he blew up. <laughs> I wanted to make saints out of everybody in this parish. You're a special people of God. You're now called St. Teresa's Parish. Try to get them to identify as members of this parish because so many of them had belonged to either St. Louis or St. Ignatius uh, Parish and that to get them to begin feeling this was their home. And that we worked hard at that. And, uh, that, and we did a good job, huh?
also the, the great service of the St. Vincent de Paul Society. Uh, right when I began there, we made a connection with San Saba and parked a, a semi truck on the property and we promptly filled it with furniture and clothing and it was taken out to St. San Saba in West Texas and it furnished a store that generated funds for service to the, the people of the city. from St. Teresa's, Robert. Well, Leslie, imagine for planning for five years to build a brand new church. In just 23 days, parishioners here at St. Teresa's Catholic Church had hoped to move into this brand new sanctuary. But tonight, the building is in ruins, a $2 million loss. A passing motorist several blocks away spotted the flames coming from the roof of St. Teresa's Church. Raise it up! Come straight down! 57 Austin firefighters responded, but there was little anyone could do. It kept firefighters away from uh, because uh, the walls have been collapsed and the ceiling collapsed early. Got here about, I think, 3.30 or so. Uh, it was an incredibly hot fire. Well, one day he, we, was, we was having a funeral and he didn't have no altar boy, so he told me, he said, hey, well, I want you to do something for me. I said, yeah, it's okay. He said, go ahead and put, put a robe on. So I went there and put a robe on and he said, well, when I say a certain word, you bring the incense out here to me. So I, when he said that, I came out with the robe, went up on the altar and gave it to him. I mean, everybody was looking at him, blowing everybody's mind, too. <laughs> William the altar boy. <laughs> yeah, it was cool. Everybody, uh, they got a kick out of that too. Some of the 
Um, but we had every kind of animal. We had, you know, it was just amazing. And so there we were. We were gathered on the little lawn out in front of the uh, church. And the blessing began. And we did the opening song. And then we did a little prayer. And then Father Greg started to do the sprinkling of the animals. And just as he started to sprinkle, all of the sprinklers... <laughs> The sprinkler system came on. And, and all, the, all the dogs were like, and all the cats were, and so all the yelping and screaming of the dogs, and the yelping and screaming of the kids and the adults. And then and the Father Greg said, well, we had an extra blessing today. <laughs>